the forum and let them roll over like this. I'm going to pull them down the other end. They don't touch each other. Well, this tower is written beautifully, beautifully. The sofer was not a calligrapher. He was someone who flowed. He just flowed right through, beautifully, moment, really amazing. The tower is about 90 years old and was originally written in Poland. There are places in the tower that you see right now, so the, it's all handwritten. It's written with a turkey quill. Well, we'd like our tower to be brought back to life and the, the places that are not good right now to be healed so that, so that it is kosher. There are some of these letters um, are very faint. Some are non-existent. Some um, there seems to be like a clouding so that the letters are not real clear. Um, but there are definitely passages which are not easy to read from. And when it gets like that, you know that the scroll, that piece of the scroll is not okay. It needs to be repaired. Or as Rabbi Druin said, it needs to be healed and brought back to its, its life. So I'm a surgeon of, of letters. So I'm actually trying to heal the Torah. That's only half the story. The other half is I'm also a magician. And the magician puts a body in the soul. If one piece of one letter is not the way it should be, the Torah doesn't work. The Torah is not meant to be like a book on the shelf. It has to be rolled. It has to, rolling means it has to move. It moves. And not arbitrarily. It's moved in definitive manners. But, this, but these are not working letters. This is a dead nun. And actually, we take the, sofa, the Torah out. We don't read it. We call with it. So it's an instrument for calling. Except um, it calls the only one thing you can't call with your cell phone.